Let us now compare three fractions, right? To compare three fractions, it is always better to have common denominator. The question here is to arrange them from least to greatest. Least means lowest and greatest means highest, okay? For example, if I write the numbers like 2, 3, 4, this is from least to greatest, right? That is what we're trying to say when we say arrange them from least to greatest. The lowest number in these three is 2 and the highest is 4. So that is the order in which they have arranged, okay? Same is the case with fractions. We can arrange them from least to greatest, correct? Now, in this case, in all these cases, we have fractions with different denominators. So the first step will be to make them with common denominator, right? So not all of them together. This is first set, that is the second. So we'll call them A, B, C, and D. So there are four different questions here. Now in these four different questions, we'll do one by one and try to figure out how to find lowest common denominator, right? If you find lowest common denominator, then you don't land up with big numbers. You land up with smaller numbers. Now, I do have a video which is on LCM, least common multiple. So the technique is same. I'll show you this technique here. I call it inverted division kind of thing. So lowest common denominator. So we'll have some repeated divisions. I'll show you how to do it. So make this ladder, we call it division ladder. It's kind of divide but with small difference. So we make a division ladder. This is inverted division kind of thing, okay? So here you write down the numbers. The numbers for us are 2, 3, 6 in the denominator. So we could write same order 3, 2 and 6. Now can you tell me about a number which could be divided into at least two of them? Well, you could divide by two. So if I divide by two, I can't divide three by two with the whole number, right? So in that case, just write three as such, but I can divide two by two as one I get, right? And I can divide six by two and I get three. Now what I can do is, I can divide both threes by three, right? So I will do three and divide three, you get one. One cannot be divided, so we'll bring it down as such. But this three can be divided by three. So we can write this as three times one as three. Now the lowest common denominator should be two times three times one times one times one, which is two times three, which is equal to six. So that is the lowest common denominator for these three numbers. So the idea here is that we have to make all these three fractions with a common denominator of 6, right? I'm showing you this technique. This was such a simple question, you could have guessed it, right? Without even doing all this. But in case the question is difficult, this is a good technique to do, right? But in case the simple question is given like all four here, you can make an educated guess. So you can see, well, the number should be highest and then figure it out. So in this case, 6 is the highest and seems to be multiple of both 2 and 3. So 6 is the lowest common denominator for you. How to make it? So 2 by 3, if I multiply this by 2, I get 6. 1 over 2, if I multiply 2 by 3, I get 6. So we can write this fraction as, so what I will do now here is multiply both numerator and denominator in this case by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. And this one by 3. And this one already has 6. So I don't have to change 5 at all. So let's multiply 2 by 2 and you get what? 4, right? So you get here 4 out of 6. Let me write here now. 4 out of 6 for the first one. In the second case, we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. So we get 3 out of 6. And in the third case, we already have 6. We don't have to multiply by anything. We have 5 over 6. Now in this case, can you tell me which is greatest and which is least? Well, the least is this one, right? So we can write down our answer and the answer will be 3 over 6, which is the least, 
we are going least to greatest right over 4 over 6 and 5 over 6 that is what the answer is but these are equivalent fractions not the one given to us so let's see 3 over 6 was the fraction in the middle right 1 over 2 so we'll write down answer here and say 1 over 2 is least out of these and then it was 4 over 6 which is the first one which is 2 over 3 so we'll write 2 over 3 and the greatest is 5 over 6 so that is how you can arrange them from least to greatest I hope you understand how we did it right now here we'll apply a shorter method but do the same thing the least common multiple between these numbers 5 and 10 is 10 do you see that so how to make 5 is 10 by multiplying by 2 so let's multiply both these by 2 and both these by 2 so in that case we get 10 so after multiplying write your numbers our numbers are now 6 over 10 that's the first one second one is 4 out of 10 and the last is 7 out of 10 from here we can see that the center number is least right and therefore I'm writing down answer center number is least so I'm writing that first so I got 2 over 5 first and the next is 6 out of 10 the first one which is 3 out of 5 and the greatest of all is 7 out of 10 do you see that so that is how we could arrange that set of fractions from least to greatest how about this one what do you think is the lowest common denominator in this case 4 5 and 2 these are my three numbers so what I can do is I can multiply 4 and 5 these are big numbers which is 20 right 20 seems to be the lowest common denominator let's assume that now how to get 20 from 4 you know multiply by 5 how to get 20 from 5 multiply by 4 how about from 2 10 times 2 is 20 right so we'll multiply this by 10 this by 4 and that by 5 correct both the numbers let's do that and then check we know denominator will be 20 so we'll just write numerators this time 5 times 3 is 15 4 times 3 is 12 and 10 times 1 is 10 the least is the last one so we'll write down our answer as half as the first one and then 3 out of 5 and lastly 3 out of 4 which is the greatest of all so that becomes our answer right so these are our final answers do you see that and here this one do you see that and now the first one I leave that for you to do apply any technique you want and get the answer arrange them from least to greatest okay I hope you are enjoying it and let's move on to the next set of videos thank you